The Mythbusters are no strangers to setting sail in dangerous dinghies for science. This is so cool! And they've also engineered ingenious devices Woo! using only paper. <laughs> but in this Alaskan special, they might just outdo themselves. In case you ever wanted to know how to build a boat out of frozen newspaper, this is how it works. First, you got to get a bunch of newspaper. Then you build a mold, and you put the wet newspaper in the mold. And then you build an inner mold to hold the whole thing together. You take the whole affair, you put it in a freezer, and when it's frozen, you pull it out. And then you remove all the mold stuff. I'm so excited. You put an outboard motor on it, you take the whole thing down to the water, and out you sail away into the icy Alaskan Ocean. Well, they've got the first part taken care of. It's a nice boat, and it's a nice boat. <laughs> Get it? I got it. An ice boat? And no boat, not even an ingenious ice boat, would be complete without a catchy moniker. Oh, look at that. It's even got the name of the boat on it. It's perfect. Which means all yesterday's news needs now is some muscle. Why 150 horsepower? Well, we could have built a boat that floated, and frankly, it wouldn't have been much of a challenge. But a boat that will take a really powerful motor and get it up on a plane, that's another thing. And that's what I want to see here. Uh, this sucker is going to get up and go. It's going to go scary fast if it works at all. Well, here's hoping, because it's Judgment Day, as the boys get ready to literally put their lives on the line. Well, we are at the water's edge. It's dead calm. The conditions couldn't be better, although <laughs> I, I don't need to tell you that it's pretty cold out here. So the very first thing we're going to do is put on our survival suits, just in case we get wet today. With the water two degrees above freezing, these orange monstrosities will keep the hypothermia at bay should the boys end up in it. My biggest concern right at the gate here is that the boat actually floats. I mean, we just sort of invented this thing and we've done our homework, but we're not going to know if it floats until it floats. This is it. It's uh, no return once we open the doors of this freezer. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> it's a tense process as the boys unpack their precious cargo for its first and possibly final voyage. That's beautiful. It's the first time we've seen the outside of the mold. I know. At the water's edge, there's time for a few adjustments. That's it. I don't want to catch your stash. Okay. You're good. Okay. Leaving Master Savage and Commander Heineman ready to cast off. Remember, the myth that launched it all was of a World War II era boat made only of ice and wood pulp. The Mythbusters pushed the boat out and confirmed those mythical Pie Creek claims, and then added their own news twist to give this myth the best shot at success. But now, Thousands of man-hours later, unbelievably, they're setting sail in a boat that is only frozen newspaper and an engine. Okay, you and I are pushing. Ready? Yeah. Here we go. Ha, ha, ha! Ah! Look at that! Come on, baby! Well, oh, first yeah. impressions are good. Do you realize what this is? The maiden voyage of yesterday's news. Ice and newspaper. Let's go. <laughs> Incredibly, yesterday's news is staying afloat. But for our intrepid voyagers, that's not quite enough. Dude, it's holding up. Let's take it up on a plane. Right. The real test for this boat is will it stay in one piece at speed? Three miles per hour. Holy 
craft just about sums it up. Remarkably, even at a click of 23 miles per hour, the frozen newspaper boat is holding fast. But Adam's celebrations may be a little premature. Dude, we've got a leak. Why don't you fix it? Although Adam snap freezes the first leak with a blast of CO2. We've got to keep her afloat! He can't stem the tide. The water's coming in quicker than that pump can push it out. I think I think we should head back into shore. Okay. Can I drive? Yeah, go for it. It's my last chance to drive a boat made out of freaking ice. After 30 minutes on the high seas, the guys head back to shore. And just in time, judging by the trail of newspaper. But our able-bodied Mythbusters aren't disappointed. We did everything we could as far as testing this material before we got committed to making this whole big boat. And it looked like it was going to work out fine. And who knew? It actually did. It worked like a tree. What is a boat? A boat floats. By that rudimentary definition, We've succeeded. But more than that, a boat is made to move efficiently over the water, i.e. get up on a plane. We put a 500-pound engine on this boat, and we got up on a plane. Yep, yesterday's news was paper mache in motion. I don't want to get all misty on you, but it's a pleasure building strange crap with you. <laughs> That's one of the most gratifying parts of this job is, you know, trying something out. Nobody's ever done it before, and uh, when it actually works, it's wonderful. We came to Alaska to make a boat out of ice and newspaper, and as far as I'm concerned, we knocked it out of the park. They came, they saw, they conquered. It's funny to think that, uh, you know, in a few hours, this is just going to be a pile of mush. I know, I love that. And the Mythbusters abandoned their ship to melt to slush. How are we going to call this one? Seems to me pretty straightforward. Uh, Pike Creek lived up to all three of its mythical properties beautifully, and we built a viable boat out of ice and newspaper. I mean, not only did our boat get up on a plane, not only did it go over 25 miles per hour, but it looks so damn good, I swear people are going to think we faked it, even though we didn't. I say that makes it plausible. Yeah, but let's not forget that this myth is about the original Pycrete and about an aircraft carrier. And given that our super Pycrete darn near melted through in 20 minutes, if you're talking about an aircraft carrier that can go anywhere in the world, including tropical waters, it's going to be sloughing off huge chunks of this stuff as it goes along. And that means it's just not at all practical. How about plausible but ludicrous? I'll buy that. <laughs>